Hey there. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. Today on the show, you're in for a real treat because we're here to see the arrival of our two new gorillas, Yakini and Ganaka, to their new enclosure at Werribee Open Range Zoo. Out the back, Yakini and Ganaka were just getting prettied up. But these gorilla suits weren't easy to get on. I don't know how real gorillas do it. Once we were in, it was time for the zoo to introduce their new gorillas to the expectant crowd. The doors are now being opened, and for the first time, they'll take their first steps into their new home. Oh, here it is. Look, look, look. Oh, so gorgeous. Very cool. Oh, wow, they're incredible. They're, oh, I've never seen it so close up. Wow. So the one, the one that is getting preened would be Yakini, because he's, he's the most, the most dominant. dominant. And Ganaka is, is the one that's actually doing the preening there. As we were preening each other, people were a tiny bit sceptical of our glistening coats. Are you saying because they're shiny? The thing is that when they're transferred to a new, a new enclosure, they're, they're often shampooed. Oh, so OK. And obviously, the parasites are taken away as well. Oh, OK, so they so, don't bring their diseases with them? No, exactly. Just amazing. Mm. Oh, nice save, Dr Chris. We're just saying, but it's amazing. See them up this close. Don't realise how big they are. They're huge. 20 minutes had passed and it was time to get a little more human-like. Should I go for a throw? Yeah. They had a, a group of gorillas at Melbourne Zoo that got quite overweight, so they'd, they're big on the, on the games and, and exercise. Keep them fit. Yeah. Ganaka, the one down the front. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was an amazing throw. Wasn't it? Here we go. This is only the two of them. Yeah, so they're two males, a 13 and a 14 year old, they're brothers. Okay. But because they're brothers, they also have a bit of a rivalry. Now, how do they discover who's the dominant one then? Through Just fight. Uh, through a fight? Yeah. Yep, through a fight. And I was about to start one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness, they are actually... But the thing about this particular species of gorilla is they can't fight for very long because they get knackered. <laughs> So if they were in the wild, what sort of things would they do? Well, they just, just chew on, on shoots and, and leaves and branches and bark and, and swing from the trees, whereas when there's none of that to do, they, they try new things. New things, such as remote control cars. It's like a remote control car. Yeah, it is. Is he actually playing with that? Yeah. So he's learning how to do that. Oh, that is so fun. And since I had the golf club out, I wondered if people would believe that a gorilla had a decent swing. Yes! Golfing was hard work, so I thought I'd reward myself with a scratch. Yeah, probably a bit too much of a scratch, I thought. They're due for a feed actually soon. That might be there. This next bit was really going to test Dr. Chris, because I've never seen gorillas enjoy a couple of beers. That's a beer. So it's the, it's how they get the yeast into them. They did the beer. Yeah. Because they're so big that it, the alcohol content doesn't even matter, and, and actually it helps their gut bacteria. Sit back up and brew. <laughs> you never thought you'd see that. <laughs> no way. Full of liquid courage, it's time to step this thing up to a whole new level. What's he doing here? Oh, you're kidding. So the keeper would have taught him that. That is awesome. That's amazing. That was so cool. You know, being in those suits was the opposite of cool. We were boiling and needed an escape plan. And this keeper gave us the perfect opportunity. Ready? One. Two, three, let's go, car. Did that just really happen? Yeah. <laughs> just jumped in the car and taken off. I've never, I've never seen that happen before. You seen that happen before? 